Hello my lovely Capricornians. Welcome to your reading for April 2021. I hope this reading finds you well. This is a general reading for you my lovely Capricorn. It's a reading for Capricorn Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. Also listen to your Rising Sign and Moon Sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your Sun Sign will. If you would like to book a private reading with me that is going to be specific to you, then you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. Well, I've been meditating on your energy, your collective energy, my lovely Capricorns. I get very clearly a message of well, it's a question. Are you ready for the changes that are coming in for you? Are you ready for the change? There are some sort of changes that are there. There's changes that are coming in for you, my lovely Capricorn, varying degrees for all of you because, of course, your natal charts are all different. However, I feel like there is change coming in for you and it's time to embrace that change it's time to really let's uh, put it under the microscope let's have a look at what I'm no longer satisfied with in my life and what changes I want to make what do I want to bring in because I feel like they're showing me here the old shoes don't fit you anymore is what I'm hearing from them that's what I'm hearing the old shoes don't fit you anymore it's time to get a new pair of shoes and shoes are something that we put on our feet that to take us through life. We walk forward with shoes. Um, and when they are tight, when they don't fit, there is discomfort, there is pain, um, there is blisters, there is, you know, it just doesn't work. You cannot move forward um, as effectively if your shoes don't fit. And so it is time for you to get that new pair of shoes on. And April's when we're going shopping. That's literally, you know, I don't mean physically going shopping, but it's time to to um, have a new pair of shoes so that you can move forward in your life. So that that's the change that's coming in. That's the metaphor that they have given me, uh, my guides have given me for you. So let's have a look at what's going on um, in April. I feel like the wheel of opportunity is turning in your favour. You know, it's like... The wheel of life keeps turning, doesn't it? And I feel like it's now coming into, you're coming into your own. This is coming in, coming out from under someone's shadow, coming out from, it might be work, it might be home, it might be, you know, family, whatever, but coming out from under someone's shadow to, to reach the sunshine, to, to grab the opportunities that are there, to have a far reaching view when you're, when you're, at the bottom of the wheel of fortune you can't see the big picture when you're coming up to the top you're seeing the big picture which is driving you towards bringing in change around you once you once you um, identify what you're wanting to do what changes you're wanting to bring in I feel like at the very beginning of April at the very beginning of April my lovely Capricorn things are going to start changing very, or things will start coming about you very very quickly there's going to be dissatisfaction that's going to be there and it's going to be more intense um, opportunities are going to arise that are going to be there and they will just be very happen very very quickly um, because you're ready to receive them there's going to be changes coming in around you for those of you I want to say this who's being made redundant there's something someone's being made redundant now don't panic because I feel like that's the way it needs to be you're being pushed out of the nest to actually then pursue what it is you're wanting to pursue something else is going to come up for you so whoever that is for whoever that fits there you are there you have it so even when change comes in and it's out of your control, it's because there's been resistance with you not wanting to move forward, not wanting to bring in that change. And so the universe comes in and hits you and wacko, there you go. There's this change that's coming in for you um, and it's going to happen very quickly. Now, anything that happens and you think it's a disaster, it's not. Just 
don't have resistance and, and journey through the process because there's, there's something else there for you. But change, things are going to happen quickly, but they're going to lead to better opportunities, better things better things it's crossed with the hermit so it's about you really going within it's about meditating it's about identifying what it is you want to bring into your life whatever's going on within is what's going to be reflected in your reality the changes come within first and so it's about going within identifying having a gratitude list having an appreciation list identifying what it is you're wanting what changes you're wanting to bring in what do you feel dissatisfied about that's going to pave the way for this new path that's being forged for you you it's a path that's being lit by your inner light by your guide so you're being guided you're not being left on your own there is in a there is guidance there for you i'm being asked to draw another card for you my lovely capricornian so let's have a look at just what that change is because i feel like april's going to come about and things are going to really start happening things are going to really start happening in april for you so can i have a card please for capricorn thank you okay let's have a look the page of pentacles yeah there's change this you're going to be planning there's planning there's planning towards a financial future there's planning towards bringing financial change in around you as well so there's change coming around you planning for a new financial future in moving forward that's you working at it you're working at it you're working at a new financial future bringing in that change because you're driving this you've got the chariot and this is you driving your path you forging your path you driving this it's not something that's going to happen that somebody else is going to bring about for you you need to take charge of this you need to bring into alignment your fears and your um, lack of confidence your you know whatever is in your shadow bring that into alignment to your conscious self and look at it deal with it and and move it forward use that fear to drive you forward to bring in the change that you're wanting to bring in because that's no longer going to be satisfying to you it's no longer going to bring you um, the um, happiness that you're seeking the satisfaction that you're seeking now that can be changing jobs something that's not working anymore drive it forward because it's going to you're going to see improvement in your life you're going to see improvement in your life it's about nurturing the self really being kind and gentle to you to yourself looking after yourself taking time out for you nurturing nurturing you as well as others but also following your intuition following your intuition this is also a male or female cancer pisces scorpio sun rising moon sign that is around you um, that is there on a subconscious level so it's interesting, it, it, this, this person is there on a subconscious level. So whether it's part of your thought processes um, or they're giving you um, assistance, nurturing, um, they're just around you on a subconscious level though, which is interesting. But it's also you getting in touch with your intuition, you making your own decisions according to you. Don't, Always follow your intuition, I'm hearing. They're giving me a lot of information here. Always follow your intuition um, and be guided by that. The minute you don't follow your intuition and you start listening to other people is when you're going to be led astray, when things are not going to be working out for you. It's about you standing up and being counted and doing what you believe is right for you, what you're being guided to to do. I also want to say to you that on a subconscious level, there's a lot of messages that you're getting via your dreams. So you've got quite an active dream life in April as well, my lovely Capricornians. And in those dreams, there is guidance. So pay attention to those. Have a dream journal because that's going to assist you to clarify what you're wanting to do. It's about what you're wanting to do, not what others are wanting you of you. Um, you need to do what you feel you're, you're pushed or driven to do that's really important here for you my lovely capricorns what does that lead to how does that how does that 
transform into your reality, into your conscious world. You've got the Ace of Wands. This is a new start. This is you following your life's purpose. This is you following your passion. This is you um, starting afresh. So this is a there's a there's a turning point here. This is you going through the proverbial door, leaving the past behind and discovering this new you, this inner passion, this inner drive. Um, it's like there's been this injection of energy into you, this injection of determination in you, um, this rediscovery of who you are. Um, finding that fire in your belly, what brings you passion, what brings you joy, what brings you, uh, what do you want to do, what is it that you want to do, what is your life's purpose, what gives your life meaning, there's all of those things are going to come up for you, there's this big turning point which is going to be very, very important because it's going to allow you to plan for your future, you're going to see things more clearly, see this got a torch on his eye, you know, there's the swords, which is an air sign, which is the mind, which is communication, which is thinking. So what are you what are you thinking about? What are you communicating? Who are you communicating with? What path are you going to forge for yourself? These are all things that you're thinking about because there's a turning point here. And there's this forging of a new path that's coming up for you, my lovely Capricorns, which I really like. That leads to the Knight of what? The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is about okay. So here's this new opportunity that's coming up for you. This new, uh, this turning point. Pursuing your passion. Pursuing your life's purpose. You're thinking about it. You're communicating it. And now it's time to take action. It's now time by by the third week of April. Timing will be different for all of you, but. Um, towards the end of April you're going to feel like okay I've thought about all of this now I'm going to take action I'm going to speak my truth I'm going to move forward I'm going to do what I want to do having the courage to do that having the courage to pursue what is right for you not what is right for anybody else what is right for you my lovely Capricornians let me see what is right for you ah oh, they want me to use another deck so okay so what is the night is about bravery, it's about passion, it's about forward movement, it's about pursuit. You know, it's interesting. Different deck. You've got the ace of wands again. So this is this is really you've got the snake energy. The snake energy is about transformation. They shed their skin and they transform. They shed the old to bring on the new. Um, it, it's about um, this change. Again, the it's it's reaffirmed the ace of wands is there again for you so there is definitely a new start here there is definitely change coming in here for you and it's about you being brave and moving forward with that making it happen this is to do with your life's purpose with your passion what brings you joy what is it that you want to do what puts that fire in your belly the another card that came out is the four of pentacles and this is it speaks to to me of um cards going everywhere here there's going to be this you know there's an improvement in your finances there's an improvement in your finances something that you're holding on to something that you're not really sort of giving away just yet there's something that you're holding on to here there's finances that you're holding on to and that can be in planning your future there's something that you're being very cautious about in planning your future um, with finances with moving forward on a financial level as well so you what are you thinking about what are you doing what are you doing there's goals and dreams that you're setting you have goals and dreams and aspirations things that you've been thinking about things that you've had on your wish list it's now time to draw on them it's now time to call them down um, this is really discovering who you are who you are what you're wanting what you're wanting to achieve in this part of your life what you're calling forward for you um, because I feel like my lovely Capricornians that to a degree you've put you put yourself second third fourth you know it's like you put yourself to rest and now you're waking up it's like sleeping beauty you wake you're being awoken you're being awoken and you um you're looking around you and thinking okay well what future do I want what do I want to create what is it that I want to manifest what do I want to bring forward 
And once you do that, things are going to happen and fall into place very, very quickly for you. You've got the Eight of Wands. This is things happening quickly, lightning fast. Things are going to fall into place. Once you establish what it is you want, what you want to do moving forward, things are going to fall into place very quickly. Opportunities are going to be there. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Um, it's going to be lightning fast. Let's have a look. I want more information. Yeah, you're manifesting. This is you manifesting. This is you manifesting and bringing about what it is you want. So it's about you having positive self-talk, being confident about your forward movement, being confident about what you want to create in your future because you are the architect. You are designing your future. You are designing your future. There is no place for doubt. There is no place for fear. There is no place for feeling left out. This is you. You might, you might start thinking, oh, should I do this? I'm going to be left out in the cold. Um, you know, it's working for everybody else. It's not working for me. Will it come about? Will I be successful? There, you've got to keep your self-talk positive, which is shown here by the magician. If you want to create a positive future, you've got to get rid of that shadow doubt, that shadow self, the fears that are there. Uh, be mindful of your self-talk in moving forward because you are creating your future. Remember. Okay, remember, anything that you're needing to overcome, you will overcome it. You will be successful in anything that is that is there that you're needing to overcome. That you're need, you know, that can be other people. That could be others saying, oh, you can't do that. You know, what are you doing? You're rocking the boat. You know, whatever, whatever you're confronted with, whatever co that comes up in April, you will be successful in overcoming them. Remain positive. That's really important. Remain positive. Write your gratitude list. Write your wish list. Um, reaffirm what it is you're wanting because that's going to lead you out of difficulty. So there is a passage out of difficulty. There is a passage out of the um, difficult times, the negativity, the, the changes that you're wanting to bring in. You'll get through. You will do that and it'll, be, it'll happen quicker than you think. There's not going to be the resistance that you think that there is going to be. Make sure that you rest you're going to reach a point at the end of the month you think, oh, I'm exhausted, I'm mentally exhausted um, with all of this. Take time out. Take time out to meditate, to clarify your decisions, to strengthen your resolve um, and to strengthen and in increase your energy as well. That's going to be very important for you towards the end of April in um, moving forward because what you're getting moving forward is uh, it's karmic. These changes are karmic for you. There's a new emotional start for you. There is a new emotional start. After this time of exhaustion, after this time of need, you know, meditation, needing time out, go for walks, um, you have time to yourself, there's going to be an, a, a turning point on an emotional level. There is a new start on an emotional level. You're going to be feeling very, very different. You're going to be feeling differently about, about the situation, about what's going on in your life um, about what's going on around you. The changes that are coming in for you are karmic. The changes that are coming in for you are karmic. So there's no, um, they're going to happen. It's how you work with them, how you work with them. Make sure you follow your intuition. You're going to be divinely guided. You're going to be divinely guided. You're going to be divided, divinely guided by your guides, by people in spirit. Um, dreams are going to be really active. Pay attention to them. You'll be shown synchronicities that will guide you through this time of transition, this time of change. For some of you, it's going to be huge. And for others, it's, it's, not, it's not going to be so intense, but it's going to be a change and a shift within you, a shift that's going on within you, which is going to be um, quite significant. Very positive. The changes that are coming in for you are very, very positive. It's going to be a really intense month in a good way, in a good way, because it's going to really bring under the magnifying glass your life and what you're wanting and what changes you're wanting to bring in. That same energy is happening for a few signs this month. It's really interesting. So the Angels of Abundance, let's have a look at... You've got three cards. I'm going to give you three cards because they came out and, you know, let's see what they say. Okay, the first one, release energy. Uh, sorry, start again. 
release jealousy release jealousy and that's interesting because that's part of your shadow what's what's being harbored in there that needs to be released as well jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you if they can have it so can you and that sort of speaks of this card here okay where you perceive other people's lives are falling into place other people's lives are really you know wonderful you never know what goes on behind closed doors though uh, and so it's about releasing that and understanding that you can have that too release that sort of thought pattern the next card you've got ask for your need needs to be met ask for your needs to be met and that's you speaking with your guides, with spirit, with the universe. Don't forget to ask. God and the angels can come to you, you. Sorry, I'll start again. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, God, the universe, source, whatever you want to call it, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. So it's about asking, meditating on what you want to bring in. Clean energy food, clean energy food. This is where you need to recover your energy. You need to uh, restore your energy so that you are able to embrace what's coming through for you. When you fuel your body with healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to to more efficiency, better ideas and higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. And that's not just about food. It's about, you know, where you, you were shown to have some time out, meditate, restore your energy, restore your body, because when you are working um, at peak level, then that's when you're going to notice the synchronicities. You're going to notice the opportunities. You're going to notice what is being given to you. That's very exciting, my lovely Gemini. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I did mean Capricorn. That's very exciting, my lovely Capricorn. Um, I wonder what Gemini has, what significance that has for you. Why did they throw that into me? I'll just give you that. Maybe there's a Gemini person around you. My lovely Capricorn. I wish you many, many blessings for the month of April. And... If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. Happy journeying through April, my lovely Capricorns.